So AI came out pretty strong at the Super Bowl this year, marking it, in my opinion, as its biggest mainstream moment. But I also think it showcased the width of the AI landscape, and considering that's what I cover on this channel, I figured this would make a great opportunity to dive in and take a deeper look. So kicking off very early and at a cost of $7 million was the Despicable Me 4 teaser trailer, which showcased the minions uh, generating AI artwork. So this is pretty funny and I do enjoy the minions, so I'm not gonna step on the joke here, but I will say that AI generated imagery is not quite that bad anymore. I will say that generating an image like this would not necessarily have been uncommon in late 2022 or early 2023 if you weren't using a lot of the correct negative prompts. The handshake was also really funny, and that was followed by people eating pasta, which to me says that whoever put this together has definitely spent some time using generative AI tools. I mean, all of these images are practically an in-joke to anybody who has spent a significant amount of time working with these tools. Uh, the pasta example goes all the way back to the extremely famous Will Smith eating spaghetti, one of the first AI-generated videos. As a quick aside, I did think it was important to mention that Illumination CEO Chris Mellon Dandry did respond recently to a prediction by Jeffrey Katzenberg that animation staff could be reduced up to 90% because of AI. Mellon Dandry said, AI will be used as a tool, but I'm still really talking about films that are truly driven by artists, even if there is an element of AI being used. If we get to a point where Katzenberg's numbers bear out, we're gonna have issues in our society that go way beyond animation. Next up, we had Body Armor's Field of Fake, which you know was messaging that all of this is fake, but it, Body Armor only uses real ingredients. Before we get started on that breakdown, I did just want to point out that these are all of the ingredients that are in Body Armor, and apparently natural orange mango flavor and other natural flavors is just code word for synthesized flavoring. Not a huge deal to me. I don't really care. I never believe commercials to begin with. In terms of the actual spot, I don't know what they're actually using to generate this video. It does look like very early either Gen 2 or model scope, and definitely is text to video as opposed to image to video. It's also really hilarious. I mean, that shot is really pretty funny. Uh, the mascot up here, which is kind of like a crossbreed between a killer whale and a hammerhead shark, what's going on there? And the absolute surrealness of this shot with a football player dunking a basketball, there are like wrestlers over here, and then this guy just kind of walking around with a sandwich platter. I mean, that is brilliant. The whole thing is very reminiscent of Synthetic Summer, the AI-generated beer commercial that went viral in April of last year. Now, now again, I do realize that the body armor spot was leaning into surreal and weird AI generated video, but I do want to point out that that's actually not the current state of things. In fact, actually five months ago, Dave Villava put together this AI generated football sequence, uh, which is definitely much more coherent than the you know Super Bowl spot that we saw. So, you know, if anybody wants to pay Dave $7 million to make a spot like this, I'm sure he would happily do it for you. Next up, Jesus made an ad about foot hygiene, which was definitely not on my 2024 bingo card. And just to note, I'm just gonna be looking at this from a technical perspective. I'm not gonna be talking at all about the content of the imagery. I'm definitely not one to tell you how to live. That said, obviously the spot itself does get a bit on the preachy side. So if you're not cool with that, uh, feel free to chapter ahead. To be honest, I was actually pretty underwhelmed with this, considering this is actually a minute long spot, meaning this cost them $14 million for the ad buy. Overall, the vibe that I get from these images are very mid-journey, comp together with Photoshop. Uh, like these characters in the foreground here definitely feel like mid-journey V6 characters, but the car in the background does feel very like Photoshop gen filled in. I think there had to be work done on this sign as it's actually spelled correctly. I also spotted a lot of Gregory Crudson as kind of a token keyword in these images. Gregory Crudson being an American photographer known for sort of Americana surrealism. For example, taking this opening shot and then comparing that to a photograph from Gregory Crudson, there's a lot of similarities here, not just in the framing too, but just sort of the overall aesthetic. This shot at dusk in kind of a Americana suburban neighborhood with the haze going is also very reminiscent of uh, Crudson's style. Not any one particular image, but kind of a marriage of many different images, which obviously is the thing that AI is pretty good at. Finally, we have this one, which is just a mess. I honestly do not know how you spend $14 million and you let this one slide through. Um, like the shoulder here is completely inconsistent with the other shoulder. Um, the wrist is far too elongated. I don't know why this tree is here. It's definitely not consistent.
consistent with anything else in the scene and it's just an odd choice it does look like it was actually comped in as well it does not look like it was generated as part of the background the focus looks super off and the shadows are really all over the place on top of it um our guy here is i don't know like sitting on one butt cheek i, I mean that just it just doesn't look right nothing nothing about this looks right so yeah overall i was not impressed with this although i would be curious to know what the overall percentage of viewership were even aware that these images were ai generated i mean people drink a lot of beer during the super bowl so i can see it going right over a lot of people's heads moving on microsoft had a spot for microsoft copilot this was kind of a standard big budget you know tv spot that was showcasing that you can accomplish anything with their new ai assistant co-pilot not much to say here other than the fact that the word bing appears nowhere in this ad i also thought the song here was a black key song but as it turns out it's a band called the phantoms google ran a spot called javier in focus for their new ai guided frame feature in their pixel phones this is an accessibility feature for visually impaired people and yeah the spot was very very heartwarming but here's something really interesting about it the spot itself was directed by Adam Morse, who is blind himself. It was actually his idea to put petroleum jelly in front of the camera lens to have that simulated blindness effect that you see in the commercial. Moving on to some other areas of AI, CrowdStrike had a spot for their cybersecurity software. Uh, this spot featuring a literal Trojan horse meets kind of a Monty Python scene. So I wasn't exactly sure what aspect of AI CrowdStrike was talking about with this. Uh, I am by no means a cybersecurity expert, and I'm sure that that industry has implemented AI tools. In CrowdStrike's case, it does appear that this is about their Charlotte AI system, which seems to be a chatbot that you can prompt for questions about your network's overall security. Uh, this does very much seem to be more aimed at the enterprise user. This is not something that you would probably have for your home. Etsy had a fairly traditional TV spot announcing their new AI-powered gift mode. At its core, gift mode is basically an online quiz that asks you who you are buying for, what the occasion is, and up to 15 interests that that person has. This one did get a bit of a chuckle out of me, although I will say that anyone that's French would probably judge that charcuterie board fairly harshly. And gift mode really is AI. Underneath the hood, apparently it is running ChatGPT4. So although it has that quiz format, this is something more than like those old school BuzzFeed quizzes. Rounding out, Ryan Morrison over at Tom's Guide did a pretty interesting experiment on, you Know, the game itself, We're talking about all the commercials, but there was an actual game that happened. Uh, basically, by feeding in all of the statistics of the season into various LLMs and asking them for a prediction, uh, the following results were ChatGPT had the Kansas City Chiefs winning 30 to 27, Bard had the Kansas City Chiefs winning at 28 to 24, and Claude had the Chiefs winning 31 to 27. The actual final score was 22 to 25 to the Chiefs, as I'm sure you are aware. Overall, all this was definitely a pretty big moment for AI and has definitely opened the door to the full normalization of seeing AI in commercial TV spots. So I do suspect that we will be seeing a lot more of this in the future. In the meantime, if you're new here and you'd like to stay up to date on all of the latest creative AI news and tutorials, please do hit that subscribe button. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.